So now we can examine the equation and the units for that equation for motional EMF. What we see is that from earlier videos, we had the equation that the EMF equals BLV, where that epsilon symbol here is our EMF. The B is our magnetic field, the L is our length, and the V is our velocity. Now, note that in this equation, we had to have the length be the distance perpendicular to the magnetic field and the velocity. And the velocity also had to be perpendicular to the magnetic field. Looking at the units for this equation, we note that the standard unit for magnetic field is Tesla, or capital T. The standard unit for length is going to be meters. And the standard unit for velocity is going to be meters per second. Putting that all together, we end up with Tesla meter squared per second. Now all of that there on the right hand side, on my left hand side, my EMF should have a unit of volts. And so since my right hand side and my left hand side are equal, the units must also be equal. So that tells me that a volt must somehow be equal to a Tesla meter squared per second. Now we went over this last lecture, but just take a quick look at it again. If I start with that Tesla meter squared per second, and I expand out what the Tesla is equal to from our earlier lectures, I see that I've got a Newton second per coulomb meter times a meter squared per second. Well, you can see pretty quickly that the seconds are going to cancel each other out. Furthermore, the meter on the bottom is going to cancel one of the two meters up on top. And that leaves us with just a Newton meter per coulomb. Well, a Newton meter is also equal to a joule, so that gives me a joule per coulomb. And going way back to our original definition of a volt, a joule per coulomb, the electric potential energy per charge, is a volt. So indeed, my Tesla meter squared per second is equal to a volt.